Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, and for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today we have part 21 of Ace Combat 7. Ace difficulty for you guys today is going to be Anchorhead Raid. It's your host, Danjo, here. And as per usual for this series, I'm just going to be doing the intro and the outro for the bulk of the video. There will be no mic audio, just boosted game audio. And um, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll catch you guys in the outro. David, I've built a model of Captain Torres and Three Strikes. Based on your hypothesis and mission parameters from the past, I ran a precision combat simulation. But it failed. Bummer. Why didn't it work? Reasons in sensuous order are... 1. Your hypothesis is trash. 2. The parameters you gave me are um, trash. Did I do something to tick you off? 3. Captain Torres is a singularity. So the values diverge. But what about this one? Four. Three strikes is a singularity. That's outside the confidence interval. The possibility that it's one, two, or three is 99%. What? Significance is high. Hmm. Try this. This is three strikes data before he's assigned to the LRSSG. Anchorhead Bay. Apparently, they're even bringing in ships from the Mothball fleet. This is probably to reinforce their naval power in preparation for the showdown in Farbanti. We've received intel that the Alicorn will also be joining them. From which source, Brigadier General? There is a possibility the Alicorn's former crew have been tasked with sabotage. Your job is to analyze the enemy's weaponry. From now on, speak only when authorized. I don't hear a response. May I be authorized to speak first, sir? When you're done, I'll be talking to your superiors. Here's your mission. LRSSG is to raid Anchor. Carry out airstrikes on Anchor Bay to the north and Dockyuk Bay to the south, inflicting all possible damage. If we can strip the port of its naval functions, we can also prevent the submarine from joining forces. The area around Anchor is illusion territory. Delay hostile detection and we'll sortie in small numbers. Make your way in at super low altitudes. Small sortie. Who's going? Count, Lanza, Hujan, and Trigger. Four aircraft from Strider Squadron will be deployed. Well, all right, I got it. To cover our lack of numbers, we're giving you plenty of opportunities to be supplied. Look here. We've set up multiple return points. Make full use of them to resupply and change our also know that the enemy will not be able to mount a defense immediately after detecting it. Use this window to destroy high threat targets. It should make things much easier for you. It should also raise the survival rate. Survival The elements of surprise and resupplying are the key. Beyond that, I just need a couple of pilots who will stick to my orders. We don't need an ace to succeed. Anything to say? Good. Brigadier General. That is all. Thank you. The career of Mateus Torres, captain of the submarine Alicorn. Does anyone know how his people failed him? A bit unfair to provide us with the best to know him, <laughs> Fair enough. The hero of Cumberth Harbor is the answer. He was the captain of the battleship Temesir at the time of the Continental War. It led the Egyptian fleet, the Invincible Armada. But when the fleet was destroyed at Cumberth Harbor, so was his ship. Yet, he's the hero? He was able to bring most of his crew home with accurate damage control and precise evacuation orders. Then, there's the accident with the Alicorn. Many believe that if they stay with him, they'll live. Transfer from surface to underwater is unusual. However, 
considering his skill and reputation, along with the fact that the Alicorn is no ordinary submarine, it all makes sense. It would be a difficult mission to carry out with four aircraft. Still, I'd like to add one more to the mission. Mike, you want to make it even harder? I want a 100% survival rate with the sword. Any other number and the mission will be considered a failure. Strider Squadron, proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP. I can almost touch the water. Altitude restriction lifted. Begin up. The food at this party served buffet style. Pick whatever dish you like before the host mounts a resistance. Wilco, I'll eat their hearts out. 
Sorry, Trigger, but the juicy targets are all mine. Emergency! Four bogeys! ETA, two minutes! Contact HQ ASAP. We need accurate info. Whoa, it's a ruckus down there. Enemy passing right above us. I see three strikes on its tail. Nice trigger. There's no enemy movement yet. Gobble up all the high value targets. Forget about your manners. We never had any of those to begin with. Had to stay behind last time. This is going to be a walk in the park. It's a good warm up to get back in the game. Look at General Clements. Well, about three long. strikes. You sure we'll get a positive result this time? Yes, Lieutenant General Shepard. Operation Dominoes is going as planned. How are they? Trigger has destroyed the target. Enemy vessel destroyed. Find the commander! So, Excellent. which one looks the hardest to chew? Target destroyed. Get our fighters up there ASAP! Box 2! Box 2! Give me a damage report! Resistance from enemy air defense is confirmed. Keep on dining. Just don't pay for it. Righto! So don't hold back. Begin firing, Sam! Why don't we have our fire oh, They think they've already won. Now's our chance. Now time for a counter-strike. I should have brought my air to ground missiles. Get the radar up and The bomb would work fine. You'll wipe them out with one hit. That was a UGB, but it was really accurate! Look Half of the anti-air guns destroyed. This is not a drill. I repeat, not a drill! in Farvanti. Okay. Sir, there's a few of them. They've done damage to the port and ships. Command board accept this report. Do whatever it takes to shoot them down. Trigger, get on the return line if you need to. There's no need to wait until you've emptied your weapons bay. How many are there? Like a thousand enemies against the four of us? You probably need to multiply that by ten. That's fine by me. Thirty percent of observed enemy forces destroyed. Great. Keep it up. We ain't done eating yet. Ain't that right, Trigger? Why has the enemy taken so little damage? You drop a bomb blind and hit something. Prioritize high threat targets and groups of hostiles. Be generous with your special weaponry as well. Destroyed. The order is to abandon ship. All speed ahead. We're nothing but sitting ducks right now. Get me. Damn it! I haven't eaten yet. Fox 2! Fox 2! Strider 1, package away! Cruiser Irene has missed beyond the point of recovery! Navigation is impossible! We're going to sink! Don't get caught! Have our ships are so much stalled! Somebody do something about those bastards up there! Lieutenant General Shepard, we have a status report. 50% of the enemy forces have been neutralized. That's mostly the work of three strikes. You suggested an operation that doesn't rely on our ace pilots. You won't have many on board unless you can convince them that we don't need three strikes. Yes, sir. How many ships in port are still operational? We've yet to assess damage, but likely less than half. Ludicrous! They'll fill the port with scrap metal at this rate. Don't let your guard down, guys. 100% survival rate. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're all going home together. Just shoot. Attack hit on Aegis vessel Kido. Ship destroyed. We've got a big game hunter. You can't resist hogging the spotlight. Dibs on the next one. This is Tucker 04, requesting airstrike on the helicopter carrying our target. Target is Vice Chief of Naval Ops, Rear Admiral Samuel Prynne, sending coordinates. All aircraft, we've data linked the intel we've received from our recon team. If you have a visual on the target, shoot it down. All hostile ships in the vicinity have been destroyed. Awesome! Keep it up, Trigger! We've lost contact with the second and two wire. If they're gone, that means we have less than half our forces left. Target confirmed down. When Samuel Prynne gone, Arusha's naval stratagem will lose its edge. Target destroyed. Target Radio here. chatter in that area has quieted down. Try a different location, Trigger. It looks like there are delicacies on other tables as well. No one has the 
Lanza has the southern port to himself. Don't think he can go it alone. Trigger, let's go! This is Shepard. Seems Three Strikes is showing a stellar performance. Osea has much need of him. That is the unanimous conclusion of those in this room, Brigadier General. Certainly not the result I predicted. I'm sorry, sir. All right. We've wiped out most of their forces in the urban area. I still see some ships moving. Trigger, let's go for those. There's no need to go through the whole menu. Focus on the juicier targets. Roger that. Here we go, Trigger. Ford MiG-31's approaching. They're fast. These guys are interceptors. Bearing 310, altitude 2000. We can't see your white flags right here, you know. Flight time until our rear catches up. Stay back. You're not equipped for air-to-air. -air. We still got machine guns. Engaging. Came in for a picnic. Found ourselves in a marathon. Any target information? Uh, I thought you said this is going to be a walk in the park. You can take walks to, well, walk. But a picnic, you have to eat. Eh, you don't have to tell me which you prefer. Shoot at him to shut him up. That's a shipyard over there. This port is home to multiple enemy fleets. Probably too much for Lanza's poor stomach. Damn straight. Trigger, count. Lend me a hand, will ya? Taking out quite a few Confirming additional so hostile ground forces. Band is coming from the northwest. They're in large numbers. Eight SU-37s. Crossfire executing super low altitude over 015. Cover reports of three strikes from the Mustang. We have no further intel. Sorry, we couldn't protect the port. Roger that. Leave the rest to us. This is Tucker 04 requesting airstrike. Sending coordinates. All aircraft. Your performance is disappointing. Pick it up. The attack will fail. Target confirmed down. That was Fleet Commander Greb Almazov on board. It's gonna take a long time to rebuild the fleet without him. Lost control. Returning to base. All rotorcrafts in the area appear to have been eliminated. Helicopters are all gone. So this is what the storm is behind you. Enemies got a lock. Hostile ships approaching from the southeast. It's a large fleet with Aegis vessel Metis and battleship Dysnomia numbering among them. We have to fight a pristine fleet after all that. Let's do this. Bridge to CIC! Multiple smoke points from the port! If it weren't for the bad weather, we would be caught in there. Prepare for anti-air combat. Parker drone has reached the target. Captain, we're starting the guided artillery fire drill. Command duty officer, what do you think will turn a drill into a real war? You don't see it, do you? It's imagination. So use your imagination, my fellow submariners. A single shell will save 10 million lives. Begin drill. Ready for anti-air combat. combat. Trigger, don't push your luck on a damaged aircraft. Get on the return line if you need to. Those are Thank God! All vehicles crumbled and one damaged and eat up on Black They're wiped! Missile launched. Let's go help the survivors. Taking fire! Band it down! I've got you. This must be that three-strike guy who wrote talking about. Trigger, enemy closing on your six! He dodged it! Strata 1, bombs away. Maintain course to return for resupply. Target eliminated. You're low on special weapons. I'm gonna cruise in on three strikes. Fortune, stay with me. Roger that. The helicopter designated by the recon team has exited the combat zone. Additional UAVs on radar. Pretty shabby for a reinforcement. Stay sharp. There's something amiss. Target eliminated. Enemy's got a lock. Strata 1, target acquired. Locked on bandit. Chaff and flares are depleted. Warning, incoming high-speed projectile. Projectile? It's the terminal guidance. Get away from that UAV. What do you mean? Contact imminent. Salvation. Ah! Impact of the UAV's coordinates. Shit! I'm hit! What? What happened? More on the way. What in the world? You all right? Fire incoming. Distance 50,000. It's adjusting its course. <sighs> Trigger! Get away from it! Distance 30,000. Contact imminent. Trigger! You hanging in there? Picture it! Salvation! 
<laughs> the death of a million is a necessity. Analysis shows a projectile was a railgun shell. We're currently determining the launch site. They're shooting from beyond the horizon. That's why they need the UAV for terminal guidance. We'll data link the predicted explosion radius from now on. Damn it. You're telling me to leave my teammates behind? Fusion, head back. I want that 100% survival rating. <sighs> Roger that. I'm pulling out. We got the rest covered. But I'm counting on you. You're gonna regret not bringing more good friends. Strider 1, missile launched. Enemy missile coming at me. Breaking. Maintain course if you want to go back to resupply. Enemy shell detected. Ten seconds to contact. Projectile exploded in the distance. Must be a failsafe. Bingo. Looks like we found a solution. <laughs> all right, all aircraft. Follow Trigger's example if you can. Hell, that's easy for you to say. Target acquired. Locked on. This one's a goner. Bend it on me. <laughs> Deliverance. Projectile detected. Ten seconds to contact. Projectile exploded. Tucker zero it's four gone. to Longcaster. We need you to attack the designated heli. remaining. Missile launched. Good. We produced enough of the enemy forces. Job well done. That prime rib and truffle soup sure were good. But hold on. Lunchtime's not over yet. Go grab some desserts. I knew you'd say that. Detecting shell in flight. Ten seconds to contact. Four aircraft destroyed the entire port. It's not a hallucination, it's a nightmare! <laughs> Strutter 1, missile launched. Target confirmed down. With Captain Alonso Terrago gone, Aegis vessel Velasa won't be much of a threat. Special weapon redeployed. Two minutes remaining. Confirm destroyed. <laughs> Picture it. Target has been destroyed. Enemy shell detected. Ten seconds to contact. Enemy has a lock. Fox 2. Strider 1. Missile launched. The shell exploded. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. Make your landing check. I Too fast. Lower airspeed. Back left. Raise your nose, you're too low. You're past the guidance limit. Make a visual landing. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. The runway is clear.
Shutter 1, missile launched. Target destroyed. Shutter 1, locked on target. Missile launched. Missile evaded. Three strikes is performing Star well one. above our expectations. Oh, you sound downright ecstatic. All right, Trigger, let's go get him. Enemy shell detected. Ten seconds to contact. Roger. Package eggs are regularly remaining. Come through. Target. I'm in position. 
That bandit is still on your back. Detecting shell in flight. Ten seconds to contact. Can you go crazy even outside the top screen? As long as I've got Check you and a squad man to do. Straight about the drones, launch three strikes. Trigger, change frequency. Team's dropping on us as we speak. Right. Now it's just the two of us on the line. Trigger, those damn bats are looking for a pincer attack. If one comes for my ass, you take him down. They seem to have a crush on you, but I'll just watch me work my charms on him. Let's get the wrist range. He's getting in my way. Go for it. Watch your tail. You're the only man I ever need three strikes. Here they come. Batter up, Trigger. If you can do it, then so can I. This clown is three strikes, we man. Watch two. Enemy's got a lock. There ain't nothing I can't handle. I'll show you. He's got some quick reflexes. Dirty tricks aren't all I've got. They're both ace material. Trigger, you and I. You alone should be able to take those bats down. Quit catching me! Whistle away! <laughs> Scream! Damn it! You'll pay for this three strikes! Only one left. We run them down together. That slow will be from you, Trigger. There may only be one left, but don't let your guard down. Let's finish this once and for all, Trigger! Likely has crashed. Serves them right. <sighs> yes. The problem has been eliminated. Pitch angle at plus two degrees. Meet us at the drop-off point. Three strikes has removed all strangler erosion forces. That didn't make for a good sideshow. I have no doubt that the plan to save ten million lives will lead Arugia to true victory. Stop thinking so small. It's salvation on a far grander scale. I can almost touch the water. Illusion, no, stop it. Hey, chill. Illusion, stand down. Sit. Shit, my cola. The fleet at Anchorhead was eliminated, and we prevented the submarine from joining forces. The unidentified aircraft were shot down too. The mission was a complete success. Complete success, my ass. Brigadier General, it sure seemed to me like the bats knew you pretty damn well. You seem to be confused. Report in for a medical check. We'll decide if you're still fit for service based on the examinations. Cut it. That's enough. Get the MP. He's right. Get the MP. Vice Chairman Edwards of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? The Alicorn slipped into Anchorhead Bay after the mission was completed, using the confusion for cover. It resupplied quickly and escaped unharmed. Their goal was not to join forces. 
It was to resupply using the window we created by chasing away the erosion forces. We did their bidding, albeit unknowingly. But the problem runs deeper than our lack of tactical acumen. Analyst North, explain for us. Of the crew caught in the submarine accident, 330 men made it back alive. Of them, 300 are still in the sub today. Our intel has led us to believe that some or all of the 30 men who left the sub are now working as agents for the Alicorn. Sabotage, espionage, cyber propaganda, dissemination of false intel. Brigadier General, do you recognize the name Edgar Saxon, or Zool, as he used to go by? He is a former member of the Alicorn's crew, and your source of intel. You are a fool, Brigadier General Clemens. Not only that, the radio communications during the mission suggest you are a traitor. Sir, if you check with Lieutenant General Shepard, you'll understand that this is all just a misunderstanding. The Lieutenant General claims you were responsible for handling all aspects of the mission. Now, let me say that again. Get the MP. No need for that. Piece of shit. We've acquired important intel from the mission. For example, the shells from long-range anti-air fire came in on depressed trajectories. Look, the estimated energy output of the railgun is 500 megajoules at least. Fired at minimum energy trajectory, range is over 3,000. They hit a powerful rail cannon aside from their main guns. It's almost like Stonehenge. A mobile Stonehenge. And also this. The Alicorn was in harbor at Anchorhead for approximately 10 minutes. They couldn't have loaded SLBMs. They loaded something smaller. Smaller? What is smaller and yet a powerful weapon? Huh. Tactical nukes. Close. The answer is tactical nuclear shells. Nuclear shells? No way. Hey, hey, he got that question right. Nah, I missed the shell part. Quiet. They'll likely attack our bases on the East Coast. Their target's O-Red. The OCN capital. They want a nuclear war? Here's a question. What's a situation where nuclear deterrence doesn't work? Quiz guy, I've had enough of this. Oh, only if terrorists have the nukes. Correct. Damn, Scald. Hey, I'm good at trivia games. But we're after an erosion submarine, not terrorists. No, he's right. HQ tells me Eruja's justification is that the Alicorn mutinied. As such, the Eruja military cannot be held responsible for the submarine's actions. Damn. So they intend on dropping a nuke on the Ocean capital of Olred. Here's a question for you, Analyst. Just exactly who are we fighting? Correct term is terrorist, or irregular military, but I have a different name for them enemy to be stopped at all costs. Correct. Alright folks, and that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, this has been Anchorhead Raid. Um, I was going to use the um, one of the DLC planes as the fuel air explosives, but um, it actually seemed less effective um, than the F-15 with the self-fragmenting uh, things because fuel air explosives like yeah it's more powerful bigger blast range um, but you can only drop one before reloading and the reload time is longer whereas the self-fragmenting uh, shells you, you could do two so uh, it's a better rate of fire and uh, hitting hard and fast is kind of the most important thing about this mission, especially early on. Plus, you know, 
the self-fragmenting thing, it changes based on altitude, so if you are attacking from a higher altitude where they can't actually lock missiles, yeah, SAMs are kind of a big problem this one, so that's uh, kind of what we went for. But yeah, this uh, that mission is tough. It's a tough one. Uh, and this last mission is fantastic. 10 million relief plan is just... It's a really good one. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys very much for stopping by for this episode. Greatly appreciate that. I hope you all had a good time. And of course, a very special thank you to the Farts and Crap Show members, Old Cranky Gamer, Novalis Draconis, and Retro HD. Thank you guys so much for checking out the join button down below. Choose and support the show a bit more directly. It really helps out. And uh, until next time, everybody, take care, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.